Hello everybody, Investing Club here. In this video, I want to talk about what kind of stocks you should be avoiding if you are looking into purchasing stocks during this market downturn. I think the most important thing to avoid when looking at companies right now are companies with excessively high levels of debt. And the reason I say that is because with the outbreak that's been happening and everybody being quarantined and everything being shut down, a lot of companies don't know how much money they're going to be making over the next quarter or over the next year. So this you know, worldwide shutdown is probably the worst thing that could happen to a lot of these companies. And as an example, I have Boeing up here. As you all probably know, Boeing is an aircraft manufacturer. They're one of the biggest airplane companies in the world. And Boeing has taken a dive from early in 2019. They were at $450 and now they're all the way down to 124. And when I look at Boeing, I see a company whose management was not responsible and took on way too much debt and now they are paying the price for it. So as you can see, when you look at their debt to equity, you can't even there's you can't even see a number. And that's because they actually have negative equity. As you can see, their book value per share is negative 15, which means they have more debt than assets. And a lot of people are talking about Boeing maybe going bankrupt. And will Boeing go bankrupt? I'm not really sure. I know as of now, they are practically begging the government for a lifeline of $50 billion to help them get over this period where they're not going to be making any money. When I look at a company like Boeing, do I think they're undervalued right now? They do look potentially undervalued. This whole craziness is over and everything gets back to normal. Boeing will probably start making airplanes again and they will have higher earnings again and their price will go up to what it has been in all likelihood. But even though Boeing may look undervalued now, I would not invest in it on one thing, and that is their management team. And so as a lot of you know, a lot of companies have been buying back their own stock over the past couple of years, and that is what I think contributed to the incredibly inflated market we were seeing. So Boeing is a company that always has a lot of debt just due to their industry and a capital intensive company that needs to build airplanes. Obviously, you're going to need a lot of debt for that. But what their management did was they said, we're going to take on $45 billion in debt and we are going to use that for share buybacks. And that is about the worst thing you could take on debt for. Share buybacks should be for a company that, that has plenty of free cash flow and is able to buy back their shares without any additional strain on the company. But when a, a company takes on debt to buy back their shares, that shows a sign of a management team that all they want to do is inflate the stock price in the short term. They don't care about the long-term value of the company. And as you can see, Boeing had this massive run-up from 2016 to 2019. And I think all these massive share buyback program was definitely part of the reason. However, now what you see is a company that is not going to make any money for the next year at least, and it will is about to default on its loan payments and is asking the government for $50 billion to help them pay off their loans. So think about if what if Boeing didn't take their that $45 billion to buy back shares? They could have kept that $45 billion in cash, knowing that there might be a time in the future where they might not be where their earnings might be depressed, such as now, and in that case, they would be much in a much, much better position than they are now. And so for that reason, if I ever look at a company and see that they've taken on debt to buy back their own stock, it's pretty much an instant disqualifier for me. That signals to me a management team that only cares about the stock price in the short run and do not care about creating value for their shareholders over the long term. And now we can talk about what sort of companies I am interested in and for an example we can take a look at DXC, DXC Technology. Now DXC Technology is the result of the merger between Computer Science Corporation and Hewlett Packard and this is a company that's been beaten down badly. It went from $90 and now they're at 10 But the important thing I want you to see is that the debt level is pretty high. They have approximately a one debt to equity which means they have as much debt as they do equity. And DXC I consider to be a very undervalued stock and one that I will most likely begin a position in 
in the coming days or weeks. And something that's not showed up here. And so I pulled up an article here on something that this company recently did that I look upon very favorably. And it says, and we see DXC to offload health business for five billion in cash. And so what this company did was they sold off part of their business. And the most important part is, is that they say they will use the proceeds from the sale of the Medicaid services business to pay down debt. And this is exactly what I want to see a company doing during this time. Companies that have excessive debt should be doing exactly this, paying down their debt. So when I see DXC do this, this shows me a management team that is responsible and that is actively taking steps to ensure that their company will be worth more in the future. So another thing to note, this sale of their business was for five billion. And I think this, this part was around 10% of the entire business. And when we look back at the company, we see that their market cap is only around three billion. And so when the company's worth three billion, according to the stock price, and they sell off 10% of their company for five billion, I mean, that screams undervalued company. I mean, that's crazy if you think about it. They sold 10% of their company for more than the entire what the entire company's worth. And so if that doesn't scream undervalued to you, I don't know what does. And so I just want to make this video as a quick illustration of different actions companies can take during this uncertain period where a lot of companies will probably not be making that much money and will still have loans to pay off. If you learned something from this video, be sure to subscribe and leave a like. They're always greatly appreciated. And hopefully I will see you on the next video. Bye. Thank you.